Well, this is Platinum Arms. Today we're going to be talking about ceramic versus steel plates. And if you like my video, please check out some other videos and please subscribe. Now, I'm making this video because I don't think there's that many videos out there that talk about the two, especially if you're considering picking up some armored plates or, you know, some body armor. I want to get this video out if you're not sure whether to get steel or ceramic plates. Now, remember this is my opinion and I'm just going to try to compare kind of average quality, good quality steel plates versus ceramics. I'm not talking about hop, top line hybrid plates because those will be a little bit different. Now, we're going to start about some of the differences, okay? What a lot of people already know is ceramic is quite a bit uh, lighter than steel. Now, nowadays they're making steel even lighter. So, and that's not top line steel, that's good quality steel. They're making quite a bit lighter now, but still good, good ceramic plates is lighter than the steel but I don't think there's that big a difference now when you have front and back plates and side plates that's when you really tell the difference between the two but overall I don't think it's a huge difference but yeah you can tell if you got all four plates on the difference in weight but steel is really thin compared to the ceramic this is level three uh, plate multi hits it can take and it's pretty thin Okay, so some people, they're going to like that, the comfort of that thin plate. So in some aspects, the ceramic's more comfortable because it's lighter, but in other aspects, the steel's more comfortable because it's thinner. So that's something you can take into uh, consideration too. Another thing is steel's quite a bit cheaper than ceramic. I'm going to say on average, about two and a half times cheaper to three times cheaper than ceramic. Ceramic's quite a bit more expensive for decent quality a plate that actually works now a steel plate that works is going to be quite a bit cheaper so that's something to take into consideration another thing too this is kind of like an old myth I think well I, I used to see this online quite a bit and they talked about steel plates generally aren't comfortable because they're flat and they're a perfect rectangle and that's not really true they these plates uh, have like the triple curvation on them. They got all these different curves in here, and this is very comfortable. And they also have the cutouts for your arms right here, which takes off some weight, and it also gives you that full mobility to move around your arms. Okay, even the little plates. This is like a side plate. They have the curvation on it, so that's kind of old knowledge too. So if you look at them, they're both about the same comfort when you go from the curves and whatnot, more or less. Okay, but really with comfort ceramic's got it on lightness but once again steel's got it on thinness curvation's almost the same shoulders cutouts almost the same now another thing we talk about it is multi hits in my opinion uh, multi hits steel's gonna win all the way um, there's ceramic plates I have seen where they take a lot of multi hits but one thing that's kinda scary with the ceramic is getting like let's say a 308 especially armor piercing let's say it was level four and even if it was standalone getting that the 308 armor piercing on top of each other in the same spot getting hit or right by each other that'd be pretty darn scary and yes getting shot with any bullet in any place gonna be scary but whew, that scared the crap out of me that happening or the chances of that happening now steel usually hits right on top of each other are fine usually I mean something could happen but generally they just take hits like nothing I mean it is it is crazy how how much abuse steel plates can take when it comes to multi hits and another thing too the ceramic plate gets hit one time you look at it it looks kinda of scary You're like I don't really want to put this back on if you took it out and looked at it after you got shot now steel plate um, usually doesn't look that bad I'd put a steel plate right back on if it got shot one time and I'd feel comfortable doing it now in an SHTF situation your plate gets shot you can't just go out order a new one uh, or switch it out steel plate it gets shot you can still wear it you'll be fine so in an SHTF situation too I think steel is going to be a little bit better that's something to consider because it can just get shot and shot and shot and it just holds up for the most part now when it comes to steel and ceramic ceramic takes trauma a lot better there's not as much steel, steel doesn't take as good so there will be more, uh, more trauma with steel so that's something to think about too now you can add trauma plates to your steel to help with that uh, shock that's going to add more weight but they are thin so at least that helps that they're not real thick and because I mean ceramics doesn't need a trauma plate as much you could still put trauma plate with ceramics but then it'd be even way thicker and even more weight but with the steel it's so thin that's kind of nice if you put a trauma plate it's not too bad but 
that does add even more weight. So that's something to think about. So a little bit more trauma. And also too, if a bullet hits a steel plate, it's possible that it could ricochet or a bullet explodes and could injure somebody uh, around you. I don't think that's too common. I think it's kind of uncommon that that happens, that it, well, it injures someone around you. But it is possible, usually ceramic doesn't, so ceramic's safer in that aspect if you think about it like that. But what I'm gonna talk about next is durability. I think that's a big deal. And like uh, for instance, usually ceramic plates are kind of fragile in my opinion. And I believe they say when they ship them too fragile, handle with care in a box. That's something I don't like. Like, uh, what if they what if they did drop and you did get cracking them, and you had to use it? That's all you had. You had to wear it. And what would suck too if it was cracked like that and you got water in there? Maybe you're crossing river, or maybe it rains. Now that plate's looking even the protection level is getting worse and worse with that plate. So steel gets dropped, banged up, it holds up. And when I'm actually doing a lot of shooting, I usually wear these plates, and I'll be running around, I'll be diving, jumping around. I feel 100% comfortable banging these plates up. Now ceramic, I'd be a little scared that it might cause a little internal crack or something. Now, so they're going to be more durable, especially if you drop the plates. be a lot more durable. Now they do say with ceramic too, you're supposed to get them x-rayed every year, or bi-yearly. So once or twice a year, you're supposed to get them x-rayed for internal cracks. That I think would be kind of expensive, and I think it'd be a little bit of a hassle. It'd be nice to not have to worry about that. Oh, and, uh, Jumping back about that sh about the bullet shattering and ricocheting, they do make like a spalling coating you can put on your steel plates. They're making them now with that coating on there that that kind of takes that problem away. So, but that, it does make them a little bit thicker, and it might add some weight to it. But that's something else. So if you're worried about that, the ricochets and the and the fragmentation, the spalling coating is supposed to take care of that problem. So that's something else you can think about a little bit more expensive but not, I don't think it's too bad now another thing too is uh, the way I see it ceramic also too needs a little bit more maintenance you're supposed to I believe I'm not 100% on this but I'm pretty sure they say you're supposed to keep them out of direct sunlight so that's something to take into consideration now usually when you have your plate care they're not in direct sunlight but you're, they're not supposed to hit direct sunlight I believe they're, they're say you're supposed to store them on a flat surface and uh, they're supposed to stay dry and also to, uh, I think, you, well, another thing to do when you clean them, you're supposed to just uh, take a damp cloth, wipe them off. So to me, they're kind of a bit of hassle. You know, you don't want them getting wet. You don't want them getting dropped. You don't want them direct sunlight. It's a lot less maintenance with a, with a steel plate. And one other thing is I think ceramic plates are more prone to being defective. I hear that. I read that a lot online. You hear about this defective bratch, this defective bratch batch I'm sorry so that's something to think about too is I think there's a chance it could be effective and sometimes they're non-refundable so it kind of sucks you get a bad plate maybe you got a plate and you did get an x-ray and there's internal cracks in this brand new plate I'd be a little upset especially if you're pay well, what you're paying for them and then you call them up and say oh they're non-refundable that kind of sucks so what do you do with them they're just like paperweight but those are some aspects if you haven't noticed I do lean more towards the steel I understand that in situations, uh, ceramics a lot better because of the weight, especially carrying them day in and day out. But I hope you guys remember this is my opinion, so don't get too upset about it. But that's something, okay? Something to consider. Yes, yeah, ceramics lighter. Yeah, there's hybrid plates that are pretty thin. They're even they're a lot lighter than steel, and they can take multi hits and all that really good. But man, those things are, those will probably end up costing you about like seven times more than steel plates. So something to consider, and they're still going to be somewhat fragile and whatnot too, even the hybrids. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you do like the video, please check out some other videos and please subscribe. Thanks.